I'm not for kids. Yeah. What's the name of the thing? everyone and welcome back to my channel if you are new here hi my name is Amasa if you're a returning subscriber welcome back to the family welcome to my little corner today I have a video this video is for all my queens that want to start their hair journey but don't know where to start these are all the things that I started doing um, when I started my natural hair um, just to note my hair is not all natural virgin hair my hair it has some product in it it's product or cream chemical yes my hair does have some chemical in it sorry if this turns red sensitive skin and i just touched it anyway my hair is not all virgin it is um it does have some chemical in it so i do use a blowout for my hair and um i've been natural because it does look like an afro, but it still has a chemical. So I have been natural for, I think, since 2016. Um, and I did not start out fresh. Like, I didn't do a big top. I just started out with transitioning into from relaxed hair into um, an afro. So because I am tender headed, that is why I do have a bit of chemical to assist me because otherwise I would not be able to survive, you know. Um, so the first thing you probably will need is your hair conditioner. Hair conditioner, hair shampoo. Um, I first started out using any product that was on the shelf that was probably the cheapest because I was still a student. And to this day, I don't have a specific shampoo that I like go to. I just buy whatever is there, whether it's on the organics line or like dark and lovely or anything that I find on the shelves. And I'm just like, okay, I have money to splurge or I have money to buy for the time being. I will purchase. But um, there are some good hair care uh product and uh, brands out there that you will would i would suggest that you invest into um if you do want to have like healthy hair if you want to maintain your hair and also because you will know that those products are also catered for specifically for black women and for black hair so moving along the second thing will probably be your rinse of conditioner this is to help you in between washes so what i would do is i would wash my hair i think um every month once a month i'd wash my hair um but i knew that um use it because of the shampoos that i would use i wouldn't always use a shampoo washing my hair so i'd co-wash there's something called co-washing and you can research that here on youtube that is when you use your conditioners instead of your shampoo so that it doesn't strip your hair of all the natural oils that it has so i use a conditioner for i bought a conditioner for that rinse of conditioner you use you need two types of conditioners that will be your rinse of conditioner and your leave-in conditioner both do come in handy they are for to help you with your washing process and then the other one is to actually help your hair feel a bit more soft and workable rather than just it feels dry it feels brittle you don't feel like you can um, manipulate it in the ways that you want to because it is dry and brittle so your leave-in conditioner helps with just um, keeping your hair a bit softer than your shampoo would because your shampoo is quite harsh so another product that you will need um which is the fourth thing now will be your oils you can get a castor oil you can get argon oil there's different types of oils in the market you can even do i've heard though that coconut oil is not good 
don't quote me on that i really do not i don't religiously follow strict rules for hair however because i have gotten questions in person on what do i use on my hair and i never know what to say i guess this is why also i'm making this video this is another reason why i'm making this video so that i can also maybe keep track of what do i actually use so that someone else who wants reference can come and refer to this video or I can refer them to this video. I have a black seed oil. This is, I found this at Clix, not for any specific reason. My, uh, I do have a lot of dandruff currently. My scalp falls dry. So that's why I am using this black seed oil. Um, I haven't researched into it. I, uh, I do know that hair oil is important for your scalp. To nourish it just like your skin your scalp skin is also just as important to keep it nourished and and moisturized you know what I mean especially if you have protective styles with you yeah so another product that you will need um, this is the fifth one will be water yes your hair needs water <laughs> you have that in your taps you have that at home your, your hair needs water another one other mention which will be your sixth product will be your cream your cream is has oils it has other benefits to assist your hair um i think i would pair it more so with the leave-in conditioner because it helps <laughs> because it helps out your hair to feel less dry less brittle less because your hair can tend to feel like that well at least my hair my hair feels a bit drier than normal like it soaks up water like nobody's business so anytime that i have another product that can assist to get the sponge absorbing as much nutrients as possible i buy into those products so a, uh, um, a cream would assist in that so whatever cream dark and lovely i know um has good ones that i normally buy um auntie jackie has creams um curling creams that is i don't know i don't know why i didn't mention what type of cream so yes curling creams um, another thing that you will probably need throughout the month or throughout um, your washing period however many times that you do decide to wash your hair is you will need uh, a mask or a so it's a hair mask or a treatment so one of the two will need to happen because your hair like mine is in braids now I might decide to switch it up i might decide to do something else with it to try and keep it protected and still growing um at some point i will need to treat it or use like a deep conditioner or mask so those are i feel like i'll put like a list of all of these things at the end so that we can all know like the proper list of things and maybe you can screenshot right maybe run right about here so that you can screenshot on all the things that you need um, and if you need to make a list of it you know what I'm saying I'll also put it down in the description so that um, it's easier access for anyone watching um, that wants to like take jot down and take notes um, am I forgetting anything oh I think other things that you can try is uh like a rice water rinse if you want to grow your hair i've done that i have done that and i think i've seen really amazing results i probably did that in 2017 2018 that was when the natural hair community was in such full force it was so loud and proud and out there so during that time i was experimenting with absolutely everything that i could find on the internet on youtube on google that would tell me oh you need to try this i would go and try it out am i forgetting anything listen with things like dry shampoos or anything like that i don't need to mention that i don't even think that we use such things or gels 
gels maybe if you're doing a wash and go however everything that i've listed in this video is literally what you will need as like a starter kit for your natural hair journey yeah i will see you in my next video i hope you enjoyed today's video don't forget to comment like and subscribe down below i'll put all of the products that i use and the links down below and i'll see you in my next video